Welcome to Spartan Social. On this episode, we will be interviewing 8th grade student Renan Yamaguchi, who will tell us his story about epilepsy awareness. We will also be doing a Spartan Did You Know with Tyler Daniel. Lastly, we will be interviewing teachers Mrs. DuPont and Mrs. Pereira to learn about the project RISE and what we can do to help. All of this coming up on this episode of Spartan Social. Hi, I'm Brenda Yamaguchi and I'm an 8th grade student here at Marino. An interesting fact about me is in 2021, I passed the bill. The bill was about epilepsy seizures awareness and putting up these posters that teach you how to cope with an epilepsy seizure and how to help someone when they're having it. My friend in fourth grade, she was diagnosed with epilepsy and I didn't know what epilepsy was. So I researched it and I wanted to teach others about it and help people learn about it. The process I had to go through to pass the bill is the state capital of Hawaii, which was the Senate and the legislature and the House of Representatives. So uh, I started off in the Senate, but in 2019, after I just finished the Senate, COVID hit, so they had to stop the bill. But when the Capitol opened back up, I went to the Senate and the House of Representatives and it was signed as a bill in 2021. The bill has impacted me by helping me with my community service, my public speaking, and being more outgoing with everyone and boosting my ability to help others and to teach others about epilepsy. One thing I'd like to add is to always persevere, never give up, and to help others because they, you treat others how you want to be treated. Hi Spartans, my name is Tyler. Did you know that the Marino Sisters were founded by Mary Joseph Rogers and Father James Anthony Walsh? Their mission was to give witness to God's love and to devote their lives in service. Now, 111 years later, with 299 sisters worldwide, 17 schools, and 7 hospitals, they have changed the world. For more information, you can click the link in the description. And now you know! Marie DuPont. I'm a grade six teacher here at Marino. I'm also the advisor for the National Junior Honor Society or NJHS. The mission of RISE um, is to provide a continuum of support that empowers Hawaii street youth to move beyond homelessness. A good friend and colleague of mine kind of whispered in my ear and gave me a bit of inspiration. Um, he actually gave me the idea that Marino could have a legacy project with this organization. And from there, the um, ball started to roll. Well, um, because we already donated to this organization for our Catholic Schools Week um, to continue the spirit of noblesse oblige, um, they are always accepting in-kind donations 24-7, and Marino students can always, always um, look through their closets to see what they can, what the teen youths might need um, and donate. I would, uh, one of the reasons why we started um, this endeavor is part of um, what was instilled in me from our sisters, our marital sisters, is you continue the path by walking in it. And sometimes as, as students, they don't realize what further they can do or how they can do that because some of the problems can be overwhelming and large. And so I try to plant the seed to create the opportunities so legacies can be long lasting and, and left for generations to come for students like yourself to further the cause and continue. You can find more information on the website. It's risehawaii.org. My name is Mrs. Kathleen Akiona Pereira, although people just call me Mrs. Pereira. And I've been here for over 10 years, but I just celebrated my 10 year anniversary um, this past week. Um, RISE is a residential youth services and empowerment. It's a nonprofit organization that is based in Kaneohe and really is um, like a, a health service that works with the state. 
I don't know how to explain that. Um, it benefits homeless youth in Hawaii. In fact, that's the entire message in even their title. Um, Hawaii's youth at risk and they are homeless. And so this organization gives them or provides them with a shelter and all the basic necessities to get off the street for a period of time and help them whatever they're going through emotionally, um, socially, domestically, um, with public services, and when they're safe to go back home or maybe go to another safer place, it's a transitional area. Well, it really just started with um, Catholic Schools Week, um, being the advisor for the student government. Uh, we were commissioned, or all Catholic schools were celebrating Catholic education in the United States. So Catholic Schools Week is January 29th, that week, all the way till January, I mean, February 4th. And that whole week we just focus, and this year's mission was called um, Faith, Service, and Excellence. It may not be in that order, but, um, so there's a part in the student government that wanted to provide an activity for all three areas, but let me go right to RISE. It was in the, in the mantra of service. And our school is all about service. It's always about meeting the needs of our community. And so Mrs. DuPont um, got this idea from the National Honors Society in the high school, uh, Jasmine, Jasmine Rocha, and she told me about this rise. And it was a great opportunity for me to present it to the student government at middle school and say, this is a great campaign we can do uh, to meet the needs of our community, specifically children of your age or the age of middle school students. Um, our kids don't understand, and thank God they don't, how it feels to not have a home, um, not to have clothing on their back or food in their stomach or know when their next meal will be. And so it was a good relational, if you will, to the age group and the great need of Catholic education, always telling our kids, it's not always about you, it's about you becoming a better person so that you can provide for the community. So Ash Wednesday, February 22nd, is the beginning of Lent, a season where Catholics celebrate or uh, recognize their journey to get, draw closer to God and 46 days before we get to Easter Sunday. Um, it is the sign of the cross. It doesn't look like it right now. It looks like a blotch, but it's the sign of the cross to show that I will turn away from sin and I will remember the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching this episode of Spartan Social. Be sure to tune in next time. Bye.